Hello and welcome at Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we will talk about Fisker Incorporated traded at New York Stock Exchange ticker name FSR. Well, FSR today, uh, of course, was one of the most discussed stocks on the market, making uh, more than 38% now. And after hours, we're trading, let's say, around zero. And this is, of course, uh, a news based growth for a company with market capitalization of more than six billions. You cannot have these jumps just for nothing, just for technicality. Although, of course, technically uh, it was very well prepared for a positive move, but after especially uh, yesterday uh, touching moving averages 20 and 50 here we can see it so there was like, some expectation for positive move but this huge move is based on news and the news are according to yahoo finance we can see that actually uh, fisker is entering to a memorandum uh, and kind of pre-agreement uh, for developing of electrical vehicles and this of course caused the price to go really high even the pre-market it was already 22 percent but now the question is what's next because uh, it's just, uh, let's say, uh, the beginning, just um, indication and just, uh, let's say, a declaration of what company will do, but it's not yet done. And this is what is important to understand is huge news should to work out. They should to become to uh, the reality. And this is always important to understand when you are trading uh, on these news. And also it is important uh, to know how these things are happening. So it's not going to happen tomorrow. And also it will be very heavy uh, initiative, very heavy activity involving a lot of funds. So it would mean that risks are actually increasing because companies engaging into the, uh, new, well, not really new, but let's say into the more broad area of activity involving and allocating more and more funds. So this means risks are also increasing. What does it mean for the price? It means that actually we are going to uh, next huge volatility area and uh, there are several indications for that. Shortly speaking, before we go to go and really discussing in details, what we might have as a pattern is very similar to one we observed by end of November, beginning of December. And the reason for that is that we are actually having the candle, which is with big and uh, upwards and downwards shadows. You can see here they're quite reasonable, actually, if you look uh, at these two shadows. Uh, also, what is important to note is that it's a huge jump for such a a uh, big company with big market capitalization. Also, we are just sitting at almost in the previous heights. So we just reconfirmed, let's say, the resist levels that were previously seen. And now what we could have is a volatility similar to the one we had here. And the reason for this is, again, uh, first of all, that it will now attract a lot of shorts, a lot of short traders. Uh, also, if you look at the volume traded now, uh, these days you can see it's incredibly high so just look at these levels if you would compare it with the let's say the noise level here it's it's very very high so this should this means that there is actually new back holders formed and uh, usually uh, it also means that a lot of people will be taking profits and yeah, we could see some let's say decline also another thing important and this is purely for stock is that it is a stock with huge volatilities during the last half a year you can see it's ranging from just sub 9 towards actually 23 and 5 so it's it's more than 100 percent volatility within the half year uh, going in either way and this is really enormous also what is important to note there are still some trends seen like for example in this green line let's call this trend uh, t1 it's seen there, so in general, it's kind of an attractor. Whenever the price goes higher or lower, it is always kind of returning there and following this level. And it is actually a parallel move with moving average 200 here, the red line. And by the way, as always, we have here three moving averages, 20, 50, and 200 being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. Here on the left, you see their legends. So this is so-called a parallel move stock when uh, moving averages 20 and 50 are just kind of uh, dancing or uh, like going um, waving around each other let's say and moving average 200 is 
slowly going below and is actually making kind of a parallel move so if you look here this is a classical parallel move stock with of course volatility which is much bigger than usually expected for this kind of moves but still it's there so what could we see still tomorrow we can of course go higher but to be very safe and if you still want to engage in the trading uh here first of all you need to know that whenever you are in the vicinity of t1 line in general for those who are mid traders mid term or longer term traders you are nice and safe to enter because then you can have volatility engagements uh, and profits if you are below the red line let's call it r1 trend so that actually sma 200 then you are really advised to enter if you are a mid and long term trader because this is very profitable area very uh, bullish in general for this stock uh, but if you are short-term trader or daily trader you need to catch the wave and now we will talk about this how to play uh, first of all rsi rsi just hitting the top so it could be again due to volatility a little bit high tomorrow but then people will start taking profits and then it should decline actually if you speak of macd also we have uh, this immediate jump so secondary big wave started but there was no time to form it nicely so it might be a kind of a triangle decline like we saw a uh, similar for example again to december similar stuff it could be then going very deep uh, forming the major correction and going all the way until t1 trend line so that will be the strategy to play here speaking shortly we just need to mitigate risks and do uh, entries wisely so how to do it first of all um, we can enter already at the previous volatility levels just to write those and if not then just skip and wait for this stock until it goes into the vicinity of t1 otherwise you could write these volatilities and actually you can also nicely see that today's low was defined by this lower volatility level so let's call this channel s1 s2 and here it would be the immediate buy at s1 s2 to play on the volatility and then exit once you have a reasonable profit and um, so if we would draw it here it will be uh, this channel so speaking of let's say num numbers and numerical representation uh, this should be something between let's say 18 uh, 20 all the way to actually almost 1990 so quite broad but also the volatilities are huge here so that will be the first uh, channel to enter and then if it repulses rebounds it will be similar almost probably to previous wave so it will be just the volatility range and volatility run and then speaking of profit taking we always advise and here especially we advise taking profit uh on this opinion video take it profit 10 to 15 percent that's how we do it ourselves and our th those guys who work on uh choosing and analyzing actually these stocks and also um that's uh, how we decide if the video or if the opinion provided if analysis provided was correct actually and later we will come with statistical videos for 2020 showing these um, positive and negative predictions but uh, it will come later so this is the profit taking this is the target so follow for it once you have this you go in if we have a strong decline immediately because this also can happen if the shorting action is very high we also know that volatilities could be really enormous for this stock then it's even better actually to enter because as i said anything in the vicinity of t1 would be enormously nice to buy and then you just buy anything below sma uh, 20 and all the way till uh, t1 trend line to average down this could be within the technical volatility and with this being said this is something between 1560 uh, channel to until actually 1675 uh, where the sma 20 is sitting now so that would be the second wave and again uh, not expected but if negativity comes later or whatever cancellation of the agreement or some negative catalyst negative news comes in we need to be prepared again and then of course we need to wait to really lower levels and it would be advised to wait below r1 actually all the way until uh, this channel and actually the lowest part would be then here so why is this it's not that it's predicted to go but it's part of our so-called mixed analysis so uh, it will be 12 30 to uh, 
13, uh, so 12, 50 to 13, 50. And what does it mean mixed analysis? So when we do analysis in our opinion videos at this channel, we follow so-called mixed analysis, uh, which is, let's say, based on three pillars. So one is the technical analysis. Second one is nonlinear averaging down approach based on uh, support resist levels. And the last one is actually uh, mitigating risks due to possible very negative catalyst because you never know when negative catalyst will come it's purely news based it's an internal information that is disclosed when company faces this uh, you just need to be prepared and once you mitigate all those risks what is left for you is a profit and that's how we uh, actually approached uh, trading stocks that's our philosophy so with this being said that's the numerical let's say representation if you are more for a graphical one then you can just look here on the let's say in the right side of this picture you can make just a print screen of this one and use it as a trading card and speaking again of non-linear average down it's still very positive here so it's advised to follow one two two strategy what does it mean? It means that funds you would like to play here, you can split in five portions and then you can buy with one portion in the first circle if needed to average down first time you buy with two portions in the second circle and then if negative news or negative catalysts come then you buy again with two portions in the last circle which there will be also in this channel. So this way it will be the best optimization for profit versus loss and again speaking of reversive momentum where to take profit once it rebounces. You can stay longer if you if you like, for example, like here, it could really go high, but we advise always, that's how we do it. It's 10 to 15%, because believe me, if you do it monthly, even 10%, at the end of the year, you will have more than two, three times, because this is adding non-linearly, exponentially. So if you are consistently trading positively, and that's what you need to develop, and we want you to develop, and then you can make profit. And there are always stocks uh, discussed at our channel. Many stocks, also older ones, are still fresh. The situation discussed there is just about to happen. So you can be just in time to trade there as well. So that's all for FSR at the moment. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already. And if you are first time watching this video, please do not forget to press the bell button. This way you will not miss new videos, new notifications. So let's stay connected. Let's make profit together. And see you at another episodes of Stocks Advisor channel.